Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tiny Tent Show, episode number 28, featuring a freshly recorded concert by a band called The Long Beds, who allowed me to bring some of my songs to the show and stand out front there and sing them. It's a Michael Perry and The Long Beds show, recorded through the good graces of the folks at the Pablo Center at the Confluence in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And we want to give them a big thank you, especially their crew. They they very safely provided us a safe place and means to record this show for Tiny Tent Show. I started writing songs, gosh, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago as a break from writing prose. I'd be at the keyboard writing for many hours and you'd want to move around, take a break, but you didn't want to shut off whatever part of your brain that was uh, that you finally got rolling. And so I... I learned about three chords and I started writing songs and then eventually started playing them out through the encouragement of, of Billy Krauss, a friend of mine. And then it got to the point where we'd be on the road 15 or 20 dates a year playing these songs with my band, The Long Beds. So we thought we'd, uh, we'd get the band together to record something here since we can't be on the road right now. Some of these songs are, are 15 years old. Uh, some of them are very new. One in particular, we performed for the first time ever, a song called 40 Acres Deep. It's interesting. So since, since this show has already been recorded, I'll give you a couple of little behind the scenes things to watch for. Um, one is I, I mentioned that I've been singing some of these songs for 15 years or more, including a song called If They Give You Wings. And when we get to that song, in the show. Just keep an eye on me, because here's what happened. You can sing a song for 15 years straight, a song that you wrote, and still forget the lyrics. <laughs> so I sang the first stanza of the first verse and then drew a complete blank. So you just keep strumming, and usually that it comes to you, but in this particular one, I had to cut the verse short. And you'll notice, I, I can't remember if you can see me or not, but you can hear me if you listen. I lean over to the band leader, Evan, at the piano there, and I say, Chorus! That means, that means first verse is over, whether it's finished or not, we're going to the chorus. And part of the reason I want to share that with you is just it's funny and goofy, but also just to really highlight how good musicians handle situations like that, how fortunate I am to be on stage with good musicians. They just grab another gear and nobody stops. You just keep going and, and you head to the chorus. And then I finally got it together. And I knew the second verse and I knew the third verse and off we went. Um, there's another one, um, a song called How Many Miles, which is a trucking song. I love doing that song. It reminds me of my Uncle Stan, who was a trucker and one of my heroes. But while we were performing that song for this show, and you're recording live, and we were live streaming, so it's not like you're going to stop and start over. All of a sudden, my monitors went out. So in other words, even though you're going to hear me sing... Um, the first line of the chorus several times um, and is it the chorus of the verse I can't remember it right now but anyway you'll hear me sing a line and stop and then sing it again well the problem was in the live setting you can hear me but I couldn't hear me because the monitors were out and I can't tell that the audience can hear me so you'll notice I just kind of turn around and make an eye contact with eye contact with the band but you just keep playing man my friend Billy taught me a long time ago he goes just just keep smiling and strumming <laughs> and then you see me angle around and there was a, a stage hand that I happen to be very familiar with out in the wings. And she had an extra microphone that she was going to bring on later for some harmony parts. And you'll see me just like have her come over and she brings me her microphone. And I sing, uh, I sing into that microphone and they get it dialed in and then we finish. And then we just go back to our microphones again. Um, I don't know. I just figure maybe you, you folks knowing about these things and watching them happen on the fly will be fun. A little behind the scenes, if you will. Um, as ever, we are just very, very grateful to you for, for tuning in and, and to all of our supporters and our sponsors. Uh, Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua can only offer a tiny tent show because of those sponsors and supporters. And we hope you'll consider joining them if you can. All of your Tiny Tent Show donations go to support not only the performers that you see, but they go to support the entire creative and technical team behind the scenes that put these productions together. Uh, I, I've been asked to draw your attention to the virtual tip jar that is uh, attached to this uh, this streaming event. 
uh, you can make a donation right through that virtual tip jar right in real time. Also, please, if you if you don't mind and you have the opportunity to help spread the word about Tiny Tent Show and, and the Big Top, please like and share this video on our social media, on your social media, actually. We're already sharing it on ours. All right. I hope you enjoy the show. Um, I just want to give a special thank you again to the crew that pulled this show together, to my band, The Long Beds, who... Well, there's a story in the, in the middle of the show somewhere about why I think the band should have a different name, and that will explain why I'm so grateful to them. And a special thank you also to the the uh, the performer who comes on to sing harmony at the end of the show. She had to do her chicken chores first, but then she showed up. So, let's hit the road with the long beds. One, two, three. <laughs> Water boys and medicine boys Daddy told me not to go Carbon County 402 Reservation Blues Posers, pimps and prostitutes 2020 in a nudie suit White boy loves his olive girl Whirly, whirly girl Could be me, could be you Could be me, could be you Could be me, could be you It could be you Devil's teeth in turpentine Revelations over time Run all night and I made the line Yeah, I'm way behind June bug dying on the screen Evidence of things unseen Drop your money in the jar If you get that far Could be me, could be you Could be me, could be you Could be me, could be you It could be you Sign your name, it's all the Could be me, it could be you 
somewhere east of Tuesday. Figured you were gone. I heard that train a rolling and a train don't turn around. I picked up my little pieces and I laid them in a line. Somewhere south of Sunday, I'll be fine. Double dipped and overdrawn I stuck the key into the lock And I snapped the damn thing off yeah, I hung it out and I strung it out And I blendered up my mind Somewhere south of Sunday Your perfect queen Pitch in picture Perfect scene Having had enough of that Drop the gas And strike the match Start backing away That's Ben Lester and Mary Kutcher Fellow, everybody out there in streaming land. Somewhere north of nothing, crying in my beer. I sucked it up and I stomped it down and I blew right through the air. Kutcha Fellow is over here tonight playing her Gretsch. Hello. Hello, Mike. Hello, Wisconsin. Hello, the world. Yeah. Mary came on That's over right. from St. Paul by way of Connecticut, by way of Texas, with a stop at Yale. <laughs> Thanks, brother. It's all true. Yeah. All right, I need the perfect pick here because I'm going to do some really gentle, evocative stuff. Um. Thank you. 
When the last star is gone It's dark as before the dawn And I'm calling Oh my baby, hold on I dreamed of a satellite Little bits of history, little bits of you and me burning, fire in the sky. So I'm going to set aside my guitar for this next song. I, I welcome the chance to set aside my guitar. I'm just going to sing. This is a new song. Um, I don't believe we've performed it live before. I don't even know if this is live, actually. But me setting aside my guitar reminds me of a little inside joke in the band. I have some rudimentary guitar skills. Thank you very much. But uh, perhaps the band's impression of my guitar playing skills could best be summed up when we were uh, in a meeting preparing for this little show here, and they were going through the stage plot, which is a diagram that shows where everybody's gonna stand and what instruments they have and what sort of gear they need. And, and the gentleman who was setting it up said to Evan over here, uh, the band leader, he said, well, 
does Mike play a guitar? And Evan said, Mike has a guitar. <laughs> Appreciate that, son. It's true. It's true. You yeah. Do have All right, this is a brand new song called uh, that I wrote. And by the way, Evan came up with the, the music bed, the tune for this, and then I put some words to it, and we're going to do it now. It's called 40 Acres Deep. And she was staring at her hand Skin deep dent used to be a wedding band Broken dishes on the floor He put his fist through the door The whole work's gone to waste and weeds Forty acres deep I don't love you anymore
thanks, you folks. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, they don't have a little red light on the camera, so I don't know which one is looking at me, but hi to all of you cameras, every single one of you. There you go. <laughs> all right. Got the demented uh, Jack Nicholson look going. Resting demented Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Worked for him. We're very grateful that you're here, um, that you took the time. Wherever you are, we really appreciate you tuning in. Even tuning in isn't the right, right word Registering. anymore. We're just, we're just glad you're here. We're just glad for any sort of connection. It's been good for the band to see each other. And uh, we're very grateful to the way the show's been set up and run here, too. Everybody's been masked up and distanced up, and we're all... I could see you over there, Mary. <laughs> You could have done this show from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a song called If They Give You Wings. Do you remember Bibles and the songs, the preaching that rattled your bones. If touching is trespass and believing. Blind. How did we fall out of time? If you die, let it be on a journey. And if you fall, may it be from the sun. If they give Swing low and pick me up. Well, hope is a ribbon tied into a snake. You ride every wave until it breaks. A flag down. A gypsy, oh, and I gave him my shoes. He said, The road looks good on you. And when you die, let it be on a journey. And if you fall, may it be from the sun. If they give Do not go gentle into that good night. Do not go down without a fight. Don't look for angels where drunkards will do. Don't look. journey 
Well, folks, um, when I'm not privileged to be sharing the stage with a band like this, uh, I do some typing on the side. And I had, a, uh, I had a book come out here a couple months ago called Million Billion. It's a collection of short pieces. And I thought I'd read one tonight from Million Billion. And I, I kind of picked it random, um, but I also, f when I picked this one at random, uh, I realized it was about being on the road. And I think... Everybody's missing what they miss right now. It's, um, it's an unusual time, but the good people are taking care of each other. The neighbors are staying in touch, and um, good things can come from times like this if we examine our priorities. I got to stop now because I'm starting to sound like I'm preaching, and I've, you know, I've had enough preaching, really. <laughs> Why should I add to it? So I'm just going to read this piece because it's about some of the things we miss about the road, but also um, I'm just so grateful that I have the road behind me. Who knows what's ahead? It's a piece called Deceleration. I like it when my book tours take me to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin, if only to hear a New York City-based publicist try to pronounce Oconomowoc. I can always tell because they'll, they'll call me and they'll say, well, you're going to go to Madison and you're going to go to Milwaukee, and then, um, then in the middle, you're going to stop at Aachen, 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 and, and I just say, it's all right, it's a kind of a walk. I usually allow them two or three tries before gently guiding them through it. Just one of those subtle reminders to the East Coasters that out here in the heartland, we too are capable of esoterica. <laughs> I am just returned to our farm after a week that took me to several different Wisconsin venues. An auditorium in Reedsburg, the Thrasher Opera House in Green Lake, a conference room in Madison, and independent bookstores in Watertown and the aforementioned Oconomowoc. As this was a homegrown book and music tour not involving Manhattan publicists, there was no need to hand out pronunciation guides. Now I'm back in the room over the garage where I do most of my typing. And as so often happens, I find myself wanting to acknowledge the diverse blessings of these little trips. For instance, at one of the stops, I met a man named Richard, who once sent me a letter suggesting that the little library concept, in which private citizens erect birdhouse-like mini-libraries and stock them with books for the taking and trading, be extended to taverns. This seems like a fine idea to me. Imagine the glory of reading a dog-eared novel beneath the neon glow and within arm's reach of a gallon of pickled eggs. Let us have a well-read citizenry and let them have a beer. At another event, a woman told me she ditched her dentist appointment in order to make it to the bookstore over the noon hour. I hope she brushed twice as long that day. In another instance, a woman came through the line with two books, one a mind to sign and the other a mystery written by an acquaintance I've not seen for a long while. This woman would not have known of my familiarity with the other writer, nor will she know how, in that moment, she allowed me an unexpected and lovely vicarious memory visit with him. One night last week, a guitar player and I crossed Wisconsin from midnight to 3 a.m. Over one stretch between Montello and Mauston, it seemed we dodged a deer every 500 yards. The guitar player comes to the Midwest via a Connecticut childhood, a Yale education, and a long stretch of Texas roadhouses and honky-tonks. As you might expect, she is a conversationalist of the highest order. Among other things, we discuss the pedagogy of the oppressed, intersectionality, beef sticks, and the composition of set lists. The miles sped by and we missed all the whitetails. 
That segment of the tour was only three days ago, but now as my van cools in the garage, it seems three years. There's always that moment when you come in off the road, even from a mini tour like this, and feel both happily home and disoriented. Even as I sort through the recent memories and images and flashes of a hundred brief conversations, I'm also thinking about tonight's chicken chores, tomorrow's deadlines, and catching up on the day-to-day -day news with my little family. There is a feeling that I am back where I belong, but still decelerating. So many miles, so many faces, now I'm at my desk, going nowhere. If I offered sentiments commensurate to my situation, I would never write any other words, but thank you. Yeah, so the secret's pretty much out, but Mary, over to my right, playing guitar, uh, is the only member of the band who graduated from <laughs> Yale. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> And long as I'm thinking of it, I should make sure. Uh, yeah, we do have uh, Mary playing uh, lead guitar licks. Back here is my dear friend, Ben Lester. Ben, recently married. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. All right. And uh, back behind me on drums, something that uh, I rarely allow. But <laughs> boy, sound check is another hour and a half now. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> it's Diamond Dave Power. And back behind me on bass is Jeremy. And Jeremy said that he's happy that he's playing his electric bass because it's like putting your fingers in air <laughs> as opposed to playing the big stand-up doghouse bass. It feels like you're just moving your fingers through air. Yeah. Very similar to how I feel when I play. <laughs> 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 And then over on my left, maybe you're right, behind this big old piano and also playing guitar, a guy who's become a, a good friend, even though he says horrible things about me as a guitar player. Uh, one of two pilots in his marriage, Evan Middlesworth. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. All right, well, that's the part where the crowd would roar for all of you, but that's not happening tonight. So it I say be. that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can play a trucker song. Since we can't be on the road, we might as well sing about being on the road. Black freight liner, mother road. Black freight liner mother road Somewhere west of Laramie Road Black freight liner mother road 80,000 stacked up on 18 80,000 stacked up on 18 in his wallet, little dream. Pictures in his wallet, little dream. your morphine let it roll rumble strips of howling in the rain rumble strips of howling in the rain gator in the eastbound hammer lay rumble strips of howling in the rain Tarp that flatbed down just a one more time. Tarp that flatbed down one more time. Broken hearts and dispatch on the line. Broken hearts. 
Dispatch and dispatch on the line Thank you. Thanks to the stagehand, man. He worked it out on the fly. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> so uh, I want to make sure and say a thank you to Northwestern Bank yeah. uh, for sponsoring this show. Um, we're grateful for the opportunity to make a little music together. Um, we're grateful to them. As part of Northwestern Bank uh, sponsoring this show, I was invited to be on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, and the podcast was called The Banker with a beer podcast. All right, how'd that go for you? Mike? Well, it went great. We had a good time. Um, and I do want you actually, we did have a good time. I how was your beer? Well, this is the tricky part. So you always want to thank your sponsors from your heart. Uh, they're making it possible for us to be here. I was very um, pleased to participate in the podcast mm -hmm. and I showed up on time and everything. Right. There's just one small problem. This whole podcast is predicated on you sitting down and sharing a beer with the banker, and then you compare tasting notes or whatever it is. Yeah. And uh, I don't drink. Mm. I've never had a beer in my life. 
And um, that ain't bragging, complaining, or asking for your prayers. I just <laughs> never, ever had one. So, so I had to tell them ahead of time. But they were very kind. And they his got, beer was better. Well, they got me an N.A. beer. So okay. we shared an N.A. beer, and we took a couple sips. And I don't know, it tastes okay to me. And then I said to the two gentlemen present, I said, okay, tell me the truth. You're real beer drinkers. What is this? <laughs> like and the guy looked at it and he said something about well it says 98 percent water i'd say they're right. <laughs> right so they were not real big fans of the na beer that i chose but we had a great talk and honestly google up banker with a beer podcast and you can hear us talk it turns out the banker and i are both from nakusa wisconsin i was born in wisconsin rapids and um, grew up my first two years in nakusa so thanks to northwestern bank for that sponsorship I'm going to do a song now called Shaman Girl that I wrote um, for my wife before she was my wife when I met her. There's a couple of scenes in there when I went to the Grand Canyon and was thinking about her. And then I always like to let people know the New Orleans reference at the end is because uh, we proposed to each other in New Orleans in Preservation Hall during the clarinet s solo of Yes, Sir, That's My Baby. Shaman girl on the sidewalk With your baby at your side Could you love a man in blue jeans Tattered shirt and a cluttered mind Bottom line Given time We'll be fine I am staring at the canyon I am bringing you to mine I am looking for an answer I see rocks and sky and time And I find As a raven flies So do I
can be deaf, dumb, and blind, but I fly, how I fly, how I fly, a true line. Yeah, walk the line. Charming girl is on my doorstep With her baby at her side She is thinking she could love me My tattered shirt and my cluttered mind Bottom line Given time We'll be fine. All righty. All righty. Does that mean you're from the Midwest if you're in a band and in between songs? All righty. All righty. Okay, then. Okay, there. You just want to sing some more? Because yeah, we got oh. some more. We got two tree dozen. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a I spent a lot of time on book tour back in the day when you used to do that kind of thing in the Super 8 Motel and I wanted to write a song about a Super 8 Motel. Uh, Jason Isbell pretty much took care of that before I got around to it, but then I wrote my own Super 8 song, so here it is. Sitting up late in a Super 8 Reading that note you left in the boot by the door Like you was going to war Edge of the bed just to hang in my head Mainlining poison straight from your The 
you stuck them between the two beasts. It was a hell of a read. Every little word, every little word, every little word. Underline. Tracked you to the airport. Standing at the railing like a women and children first. The plane peels away from the earth. Contrails in the sky. Contrails in the sky. Contrails in the sky. come over and play the piano now. This is another new song. I wrote this song. I wasn't having the greatest day and I wasn't being maybe the greatest person. And, um, my spirit felt a little bit like that note you just played <laughs> right there. <laughs> and, uh, and I also had a, a daughter who was, you know, out in the world finding her way and thinking about her and so I wrote this song called Little Bird and uh, it's about letting daughters fly and I'm gonna have one of my daughters sing a little harmony with me on it <laughs> Little bird, dead in the grass, flew too far, flew too fast. Do you remember, gave you my word, I used to call you little bird. You no longer sing I still hear your wings Beating in the black Beating in the blue Beating bad To me and you Mm -hmm. 
little bird at the edge of the nest crazy little heart beating in your chest do you remember do you remember gave you my word gave you my word wherever you go wherever you go i'll meet you there You no longer sing But I still hear your wing Beating in the black Beating in the blue Beating back To me and you Beating back Back to blue, beaten back. Thanks again, folks. Um, we're going to do one more to put it between the ditches by, as Steve Earle used to say. I want to thank the Pablo Center for having us. I want to thank, you can't see it, but uh, around us, up in the catwalk and back in other little rooms and surrounding us are a whole bunch of people who came in and set this all up ahead of time and who are taking care of us on the fly here as we play. So we're very grateful to the crew that's here and helping us out. I'm very grateful again to the band, the Long Beds. Um, they bear me up. I always, I always say I should have called them the Bowling Bumpers. Because <laughs> there are times when I get a little adrift. And it's kind of like when the kid rolls the bowling ball down toward the pins and they put those bumpers in there and then the band is like that. They just kind of nudge me back to the middle and then we find our way all the way down and maybe eventually even pick up a spare. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> But it's such a pleasure to, to play with them again tonight, and, and we're so grateful to you for taking the time to, to sit down with us. And one more thank you also to Northwestern Bank. Go ahead and Google up that Banker with a Beer podcast and see what we thought of that NA beer. All right, thank you so much. Oh, I think I have to say also, if you have questions about the new book or anything you saw here tonight, just go to sneezingcow.com. Sneezingcow.com is uh, where all of my social media platforms reside, my vast worldwide media yes. empire. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. This is a song called After Waymore's Blues. you'd 
like to know how I came to be this way. Oh, wouldn't you just love to know how I came to be this way? It's one part blame my mama, two parts blame the man who got away. Well, a black cat don't mean nothing, but that black dog will run you down. That old black cat don't mean nothing. That black dog will run you down Yeah, I can hear him out there moaning On the darker side of town So won't you choose me out a tombstone Tell that man how to spell my name Won't you choose me out a tombstone Tell old Billy how to carve my name No matter if the chisel slips, 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 slips Hell, I'll be gone just the same and That's one part blame my mama Two parts blame the man who got away And that's one part blame my mama Blame the man who got away And he was fading fast That's one part blame my mama Two parts blame the man who got away That's a one part blame my mama Two parts blame the man who got away That's one part blame my mama Two parts blame the man
Well, folks, that's our Tiny Ten Show for tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you to the Long Beds. It's always a pleasure and a privilege to stand on stage beside them. Thank you to Northwestern Bank, who sponsored the original filming of that show at the Pablo, thus enabling us to share it with you through Tiny Tent Show. And that wouldn't happen without the support of our Tiny Tent Show sponsors. And I want to thank them specifically right now. Jim and Joy Perry, Memorial Medical Center, Rondeau's Shopping Center and Cable, Pete and Colleen McIntyre, Pete and Sarah Richters, and Myra Ainert. If you can join these sponsors, please consider it. You can, as I say, make an instant donation in the tip jar along with this streaming performance. Um, or you can make a donation through the Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. There's a number of ways to contact them. Again, your donations go to support not just the musicians or the performers, but the folks behind the scenes putting these things together. We are deeply grateful to you. Please, uh, if you enjoyed the show, share it on your social media, on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever you got there. We are just uh, very grateful for your time and attention. We don't forget that you're out there finding your way even as we find ours. It's good to get together with you even if only virtually, and we look forward to the time that we can gather up under the canvas again. And now the time has come not to bid you adieu or to say goodbye, but rather to do what we do where I'm from, which is to say, well, I suppose, forward. Forward.